Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the top international stories for the day. Chairman of the U.S. Joint Chiefs of Staff has said China's suspected hypersonic missile test is close to a Sputnik moment. Meanwhile, Pentagon spokesman said that the U.S. is working to strengthen defense systems and pursuing its own hypersonic capabilities. Afghanistan neighbors have sent a clear message to the Taliban government that it should fulfill its commitments made with the international community. The foreign ministers of China, Iran, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan and Russia have asked to ensure that Afghan territory will not pose any threats to neighboring countries. Russia has called on countries neighboring Afghanistan not to host U.S. or NATO military forces. Earlier, Russia's defense minister also accused NATO of gradually gathering forces near Russia's borders. At least four mosques are vandalized and shops and homes owned by Muslims were ransacked in Indian state of Tripura. In Hindu groups attacked after anti-Hindu rights left seven people dead in Bangladesh. Up next, we have the national updates. Chief of Army Staff General Kamar Javed Bajwa visited HQ Southern Command, Multan. The Army witnessed integrated training of strike corps troops practicing drills and procedures involving the crossing of major water obstacles. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi met Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi. He lauded Iran's consistent support on the Kashmir issue. The Foreign Minister also urged the Iran to have continued consultations for peace in Afghanistan. The Foreign Office has summoned Indian Charge the Affairs to sought an explanation for the reported killing of a Pakistani prisoner in the Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir under Indian custody. The reported killing of Zia Mustafa is under mysterious circumstances at a location away from the prison. The Pakistani government has decided to crush the banned Tehrike Labek Pakistan by all means and treat TLP as a militant outfit. Meanwhile, Rangers are deployed in Punjab to, in order to maintain law and order. Up next, we have the health updates. The need for liver transplants because of heavy drinking soared during the pandemic in the United States. University of Michigan researchers found that waiting lists due to alcoholic hepatitis was 50% higher than what was forecast based on pre-pandemic trends. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. NASA telescope might have found the first ever planet outside of our own Milky Way galaxy. The exoplanet known as the Whirlpool Galaxy would be roughly 28 million light years away. Up next, we have the sports updates. Former Indian spinner Harbhajan Singh triggered anger, disgust and outrage after he abused a Pakistani woman journalist on social media. People from both sides of the border were disgusted by the former cricketer's abusive comments. Up next, we have the entertainment updates. Pakistan's leading celebrities Adnan Siddiqui, Muneeb Bhatt and Ali Zafar have condemned the harsh behavior of Dr. Numan Nayaz towards former cricketer Shoaib Akhtar in a live show. The celebrities across the country have lauded the grace with which the cricket star walked away from the show. Up next we have the business updates. The Pakistani rupee sharply recovered to rupees 172.78 rupees against the US dollar in the interbank market. The local currency appreciated around rupees 2.49 rupees after Saudi Arabia agreed to deposit 3 billion dollars to help support foreign reserves.